guys we are in usd jpy h1 time frame and uh, what we can see here for usd jpy is uh, from here the market is uh, creating a still lower low right and uh, this was a last high which is broken by the recent wave now the market is trying to create a correction pattern which is indicating that the market has a potential to go in above direction so what we can do is we can plan about buy setters from here and we, we can keep our stop loss uh, low here because see here is also presence of liquidity so what the market do the market can easily come to this level to grab the liquidity then it can give a good wick then it can uh, close body inside here and then it can boom in above direction so we need to be much careful for these uh, liquidity levels where the market will uh, def uh, should come i will say the mostly the market come to grab these liquidity because many people uh, will buy on these supports level and they will keep their stop losses at here so the market what they, it will do it will come down uh, get a stop loss then go above side so let's see uh, what, where you can enter uh, just wait to the market to reach this level uh, when the market get all the stop losses out and give closing inside the area just put your stop losses here and uh, uh, let the market unfold in above direction so this is my planning for the usd jpy if we will get uh, uh, opportunities then we can enter with a uh, very small stop losses guys if you're first time on my channel like share subscribe the channel and if you have not joined our personal mentorship classes you can book your personal mentorship classes guys thank you so much